Welcome to this e-lecture, which uh, will be about univariate analysis and measures of central tendency. So, what is central tendency? Well, it, these are measures that say something about the most typical or representative value in a distribution. So, we'll first start to talk about the arithmetic mean, which is the center of gravity in a distribution. And we'll talk about the median, which is the middle value in a distribution that is ordered from the highest to the lowest value or from the lowest to the highest. That's uh, it, it, uh, you, you, uh, well, it's the middle value in, in an uh, ordered distribution. That's the main point. And then we have the mode, which is the most frequent value in the distribution. So first, let's look at the uh, at the frequency distribution uh, and we have to use the frequency distribution to calculate uh, calculate uh, uh, all these measures um, well first uh, first and foremost the frequency is the number of countries for in this example with a particular life expectancy so you, you have uh, in this column you have the frequency and you have the number uh, uh, the, 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 you have the the life expectancy and you have the, uh, the number of countries with a certain life expectancy so you have five countries with life expectancy of 61 and one country with the life expectancy of 62 and you have 10 countries with a life expectancy of 81 years for example <coughs> and then you have the relative uh, frequency of the percentage which is the number of countries with a specific life expectancy and the total number of countries. So we have, you have for example, 3.6% country, uh, of the countries that have a life expectancy of 63 and 4.1% that has a life expectancy of 68. And then you have the valid pr percentage, which is, which is the same as the percentage, but it's, it in includes only observation with the value valid values and in in this distribution you will see that the valid percentage and the percentage is the same because there are no countries with missing values on life expectancy if there were countries with missing values on life expectancy then the valid percentage this one would differ from this one and then you have the cumulative percentage which is the percentage of countries with a specific life expectancy or lower <coughs> so you have, for example, 17.1% 17, 17 that have a life expectancy of 56 and lower. You have 15% of the countries with a life expectancy of 55 or lower. And you have 14.5% of the countries with a life expectancy of 54% or lower. So, or you have 99 0.5% of the countries with a life expectancy of 82 years or a lower life expectancy. So that's the cumulative uh, percentage. So to find the arithmetic mean or the mean, uh, we had to have to add each registered values uh, on the variable and divide them by the number of observations. Uh, and this is the center of gravity in the distribution, uh, really. The mean is the center of gravity, and uh, yeah, the variable has to be on the interval or ratio level, but we can also use an ordinal level uh, variable with uh, at least five values. And in our case, we have then summed up all the different life expectancy and divided by the number of countries, and it's 67.8 uh, years, which is the mean uh, life expectancy. And uh, of course, this is uh, the, the arithmetic mean is influenced by ex, uh, extremely high or extremely low values, so-called outliers. Uh, uh, as for life expectancy, this is not a huge problem. But if you, you could think of an income in, in uh, distribution, for example, where people earning a uh, billion dollars or a billion Norwegian crowner would really uh, uh, would really um, make them uh, well. Would, would, would pull up the mean quite a lot so so this is the mean is is uh, is influenced by uh, so-called outliers whereas the median which is also a, a measure of central tendency uh, is the value in the middle of an order distribution 
uh, half of the units have this value or a lower value uh, uh, or they have a half of the uh, half half of the units have this value or a higher value also so for example uh, in the, in this in our example we have uh, uh, we have ordered from the lowest to the highest uh, value on life expectancy and and we have f found the position uh, with the for uh, or the, for the value in the middle of the distribution and you do that by taking the number of countries plus one or the number of observations plus one uh, divided by two and in our case it's 93.1 uh, 93 uh, plus one divided by two and that's position 97 which is Al Algeria and it's uh, it's 71 that is the median so it's the value the, the this is the median value uh, and the variable has to be on the interval or ratio level um, uh, has to be on the interval or ratio or uh, um, measurement of um, it has been the interval or ratio uh, level uh, but it can also of course be on the ordinal uh, uh, it can also be an ordinal variable if we, it, it has enough values uh, and it's relatively little influenced by extremely high or low values because it's only influenced when half of the observation has ha, have an extreme have extreme values and I, I mean if half of the observation has extreme values it's uh, well calling it extreme values kind of loses it its meaning uh, one can also find uh, the the median by uh, using the uh, using the the, the 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 frequency distribution and you find really just the 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 in the commutative distribution you find the the position that where the distribution tip uh, over fifty percent or where the fifty percent value is and that's as we see here also seventy one year uh, where the uh, which is the median value okay and we have something called the trimmed mean. If outliers represent a problem, the mean mean may be uh, may uh, the, the the trimmed mean may be uh, uh, or the mean may be made more robust by excluding the observations with the lowest or high and highest values, uh, and you calculate the mean uh, based on the re remaining observations. So you can trim the mean by, for example, excluding the five percent lowest or highest observations. And in our ex in in our example, we would uh, we we would fi find that the mean life expectancy for this trimmed mean, if we if we if we uh, exclude the uh, the five percent highest or lowest values, it would be sixty eight point three years. And the harder we trim the mean, the closer we get to the median. That means the more uh, the 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 larger uh, the more we exclude uh, the more uh, observations in the top uh, and the bottom that we exclude the the closer we are getting to the to the median uh, okay and then we have uh, the mode which is the most frequent value in the distribution uh, and uh, as you can see in our example, that's 72 years because it's 14 countries that have, have 72 years and that's the highest uh, or most frequent value. There are no other values that are uh, where, uh, with the same number of countries. And it can be used at all levels of measurement, but works best on variables with relatively few uh, uh, values. Uh, and it's not influenced by extremely high or low values because, I mean, it's the most frequent value. So let's compare these uh, different measures of central tendency. Uh, the arithmetic mean uh, and the trim mean, uh, you need to be on the interval or ratio level. Uh, when it comes to the level measurement, median can be at the ordinal, uh, but and mode can be at nominal, so you can have it be used on all level. Uh, it doesn't have any requirements as for level of measurement. You can use it really on all level of measurements. Um, the use of information, the arithmetic mean, extensive. It uses really the value of the of all the all the on the, the, the all the values and the trimmed mean. That depends on the degree of trimming. A median. Uh, it, uh, it uses mo moderate uh, uh, moderate use of information because it only uses uh, use the rank of the variable and the mode 
quite little because it only uses the frequency. Uh, and the argumenting mean is, uh, is highly sensitive to extreme values, so outliers. Uh, the trim mean that's depending on the uh, how, uh, the sensitivity to extreme values is depending on the degree of trimming. Median, not very much or little, uh, very little sensitive or not sensitive, yeah. a little, a bit little, uh, not very sensitive, <laughs> and and the mode uh, not sensitive at all. Okay, that was the e lecture about the measures of central tendency. Uh, thank you.